John Lesk here at Lesk Archery Adventures, serious testing, successful hunting. Hey, first, let me just say thank you so much for all your support. I've had so many viewers and so many comments and so many views on my channel here and subscribers. Thank you so much for your loyalty and sharing these videos with other people. I really appreciate it. If you've not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell that's there. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. I try to post at least one a week, sometimes two a week. And I've got hunting videos as well as a broad head tests and bow tests and other gear tests and also on my channel you can look at the playlists and I have a, a lot of different bow hunts that are broken down by species as well as a lot of different broadhead tests and gear tests and bow tests again and so you can play through the different playlists accordingly and also one more plug on this note if you have a broadhead that you would like me to test please consider donating me a pack, okay? Just reach out and, and, and ask me what my address is and I'll give you my mail-in address. And if I get a pack of new heads, I can test them. A lot of people have done that and I'm really grateful for it. So if you're interested in a certain head being tested that I've not tested already, please uh, let me know and consider giving me a pack of those heads and I'll do it. But today I'm gonna be testing another head made by Rad Archery. You may have seen my test a little while ago of the Rad Madman, okay? That was a cool four blade head. If you haven't seen that, check that out. Today I'm gonna to be testing the Rad Rival. This is their all stainless steel version. The ferrule, the blades, the tip, it's all steel. So let's zoom on in here, go through some of the design features and specifications, and then we're gonna put the Rival to the test. The Rival series is their stainless steel broadheads. And with the stainless steel, they have a, a different locking mechanism. They have this super strong blade lock and they have a smaller double scalpel tip. Okay, you can see the tip is quite a bit smaller than it was on the Madman and the, sc the scallop goes all the way through like that, all the way through the ferrule. The ferrule stainless steel as are the blades and it's got that thinner tip so it's gonna penetrate probably a bit better. And this is the, the one inch LPS, the low profile solid in three blades. Well, and this is the one in three sixteenths inch HPV, the high profile vented. So again, the same ferrule and everything, that small scalloped tip right there. Again, a really nice trocar tip, but it's got three blades at one in three sixteenths inch cutting diameter for a bit bigger hole. So I'm really eager to put these to the tests and for all the tests that I'm using for 2021. And if you're not familiar with the tests that I'm using, please look at the description box below this video and I outline the, uh, the explanation uh, and the whys and the hows of the different tests that I'm using. Let's see how these heads perform. Red archery out of the box sharpness. 350. The LPS penetrated 8 and 7 eighths inches, and the HPV penetrated 8 and 3 eighths inches. This is the rad after penetration test one. 350. The LPS penetrated through 67 layers. And the HPV penetrated through 65 layers. Here's the LPS, spins perfectly well, and the blades can't even tell they've been shot, let alone gone through steel five times. Now, the tip you can see here got a bit blunted. Even though it's a smaller diameter than the Madman tip, it got a little bit blunted in the same way. Here's the HPV after three shots into the steel plate. And as you can see, it lost a blade on the third shot. Now it made a nice hole in the steel in the third shot, but the blade was just gone and I couldn't find it. It was somewhere in my target. And as I went to 
put a new one in there, I couldn't install a new one in there. So something got jacked up inside with the pin or there's a broken piece of the blade. I can't really tell, but I know I can't fit another blade into it. So something broke off there. Here you can see the wound channel of the LPS. And then also here are the HPV, pretty good holes. And then uh, you get a comparison of both of them here with the HPV on the right and the LPS on the left. You see it's got a bit of a wobble to it. The ferrule just got slightly, slightly bent. You can see it kind of downward there. I don't know if you can even make that out. But a very slight bend. Yeah, right there. The tip got a little bit blunted. But overall, I mean, man, it held up really well. If that was lodged in an animal, it would still be cutting very effectively. So what did you think of the rival? You know, a lot like the Madman, these heads really impress me, especially the penetration. When you go from four blades down to three blades and everything else the same, uh, even with a smaller uh, cutting tip on it, man, they penetrated extremely well. I think to date, this uh, this rival low profile solid model is uh, is the best penetrating head through the cardboard that I've tested. I think that's right. Uh, but man, they they penetrate extremely well. The durability was pretty good as well. Uh, I don't know if it was an anomaly in seeing that one blade that broke in the steel plate, but uh, it, it hasn't done that in any of the other tests that I've done of the rad heads. But overall, they're just really great heads and worth a look. So check out the score sheets and see how they did in the areas that mattered to you the most. But again, great job, Rad. <laughs>